Last night, what happened here in the center of Salisbury resulted in teams wearing full protective suits. Detectives say they are keeping an open mind about the incident and are working to find out whether a crime has been committed. been in place as director of public health for three months when this incident happened. So it was already a really busy morning. We'd had the beast from the east that weekend and I got a phone call on my way into work. It was Superintendent Dave Minty that called in. Are you still there, Dave? And started to outline the specifics of two individuals that had been found in a very poorly state in Salisbury on the Sunday afternoon. And from that, there was a lot of questions um, that couldn't quite be answered on that call. The people who took ill at the Maltings yesterday are Sergei and Yulia Skripal, father and daughter. They're Russian. OK. It was clear it was really unusual because of the speed of the onset of symptoms. We quickly had worked out where they'd been that afternoon, so we knew that they'd been to a bar and we also knew that they'd been to a restaurant. But for it to be onset of symptoms as a result of that didn't make sense. They didn't quite fit a profile of somebody that would have used illegal substances or, or drugs in any way. So there was just a lot of questions around it, nothing quite pieced together. So you knew um, instinctively it was quite unusual. Obviously, it'd be over the coming hours and days where the, the true impact and volume of that would really become known. For a nerve agent to be used in this context was horrifying, really but there wasn't any guidebook from it at all. We were working on that as we went. This was an extraordinary event, and thankfully, it was an extraordinary event that was handled by some extraordinary people. There is a cast of many that worked on this, and a cast of hundreds behind them. And you always say that people's true selves emerge in uh, moments of stress. We should be incredibly honored, because what I saw was the very best of people, and it's been an honor to be part of that team. It was developed by the USSR during the Cold War, and it's one of the deadliest synthetic substances on Earth. It's so toxic that a, a spoonful with the right delivery mechanism could kill thousands. Salisbury Hospital has declared a major incident. So myself and a colleague uh, went down in those early days. We met with the residents that lived closest to the house, um, just to try and get a sense of what their anxiety was and what their needs were to work through what was an incredible set of circumstances for them. The intrusion um, to their private space was quite phenomenal. Tracy Daskovich, Director of Public Health for Wiltshire. My kids were playing here this morning. I want a bloody explanation and I want it now. But I'll tell you what, you make me a cuppa and I'll tell you everything I can, how's that? All right. Yeah. The days were easily 18, 20 hours long for those first early weeks of response. The exhaustion was tempered by the fact that you were so incredibly busy, so you didn't realise the hours that were passing. It was only on those snapped moments when you did get home and you, you did realise that you hadn't set eyes on any member of your family for four or five days. It's only on reflection that you actually realise what that impact was. At the time, you don't have time to think about it. There's a job to do, and that's what you're focused on. As we've started to open up and talk about it more as a family and friends, um, you, you do realise that your, your absence creates something that you haven't quite expected. Mum? Dad? There, there was a moment with Toby Mom? where the absence had become apparent. Toby, I'm so sorry. My key. I'll come back with you. Give come me my key. Toby, don't follow me. Hearing Ted's account and my daughter's account and friends' accounts um, and my son's accounts of it about my how absent I was even when I was there mm. in body. Did that, there was one night I remember Ted giving me a shove and saying, I can hear you thinking, go to sleep, because you just didn't switch off. You OK? and the way I would jump if the phone rang. Just my reactions to things have changed. I haven't seen them in myself, but other people have noted them for me. From a family and friends' point of view, 
Um, I've learned strength and vulnerability, um, the strength of some people around me, but also how vulnerable some relationships that I really regarded as being quite strong, how vulnerable they were. It has cost me friends, you know, there are friends that have made their feelings known, and that is really sad. I missed a friend's wedding, I missed a friend's husband's funeral. Um, so those very crucial landmark things that you will never get back, um, that will leave scars on friendships. Um, but for, for, at the time, there was nothing more I could do than to be focused on this. Right, we'll see you soon, love. Oh. See you, Mum. <laughs> Um, I suppose the most challenging part of this um, happened with the second incident. I had worked with Dawn three years prior to the incident on, on a project, um, a community project. She had been one of the people that had come from, from, from the community to work with us and give us her views. So when it was her photo that was um, shared on that morning, it really hit me. I knew um, that she was a mom. Um, <laughs> I knew how funny she was. I remembered her. She was a very, very big character. And to realise that somebody as vibrant as that um, had been, well, at that point, contaminated in this way, and obviously a few days later, for her to lose her life, that for me as, and will remain, the most harrowing part of all of this. Whether you can say a place is recovered, I don't know, um, because I don't know how you can truly assess how whether the, the place was ever broken by this or whether it immediately rallied and showed the strength against that level of adversity. This is uh, an amazing town and city uh, with very unique communities and a unique offer, and, and that remains. That hasn't been blighted by the events there.